What's up guys? Welcome back to City Skylines Dollar B. My little Swedish town slash city we are building here in this fantastic game and thank you so much for sharing this wonderful moment with me. Here in Sweden the weather is shit. We have gotten a ton of snow. Um, well I like snow but it's shit because it's melting and you get this wet snow which, which really sucks and it's cold and it feels like it's almost rain and ice in the wind you know. But anyways guys thank you for tuning in today. Today we are continuing on uh, some residential areas very close to what's soon to be uh, the downtown area, um, the city center you know that kind of stuff. Um, but we start off here, as you can see, uh, doing some little road work, um, this little statue, you know, uh, works out fine, but we're gonna move on further down and start doing some, some European slash Swedish slash something uh, residentials today. And you might have noticed something with the picture, it might be a little better quality, right? A little better quality, yeah, yeah, and that's because I have a new computer guys and that's that's freaking awesome I have a new computer I thought it was time to invest in a real computer so I can play this game and give you top-notch quality um, now I would start off to say that the quality is not at its peak here um, there's a lot of uh, settings that was wrong here so in the next episode the quality of the video will be so much better and I'm really sorry if this video is a little dark to you. It's not supposed to be this dark, but I have some issues with how the game looked on my Macintosh and how the game looked on a PC. It was two totally different um, set, light, lights, lighting, uh, even though I had, a, had the exact same settings. And on one screen the contrast was like super high and then I shift to the other screen and there was like no contrast at all. So it's really hard for me to know what should be the most accurate thing or correct thing you know but please let me know in the comments if you if you think it's too dark too bright too something but as i said in the next episode everything should be much better even the resolution even if it's good here it's going to be even better um, i changed from post fx uh, which uh, was a mod that was unbelievably bugged um, I got so much bug with it, so I started using render it and render it my guys Perfect mod. It works super cool um, Almost no FPS drop at all uh, with like the highest settings um, Of course now I have a kind of a super computer, you know, which is kind of awesome. So it might be that but uh, the the render it had so much less FB FPS drop than the post FX and to be honest the render it mod made a the game look better than post fx I'm, I'm i'm sorry for the creator for post fx but i'm happy that uh, we have rendered it so i can really uh, recommend that mod if you want it but in the next episode everything with the colors and lighting and resolutions everything will be much 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 more better uh, even though it's good now Anyways guys, so I hope you will uh, enjoy enjoy this uh, new era of my channel, you could say, you know, a new computer and if you have missed it, I released a trailer uh, the other day from a new City Skylines project that I've been planning for a while, I've been wanting to do for a while, but I never had the computer to to make it happen, as to say, you know, when I was working on my Macintosh up until now, I was building at maximum and i want to say maximum 12 13 fps no joke that's what i was building in and if i even pump the resolution a little bit with the dynamic resolution just up to 150 uh, percent i got down to like six fps so no it was hard to to play the game and like feel that it was it was fun you know but i bought this new computer uh, which was awesome and now i have like 30, 40 FPS uh, with uh, dynamic resolution on 250%. So, uh, and all the other like 
visual models and stuff so it's it's totally awesome but back to the trailer i released the trailer which called mechanica uh if you haven't checked it i will probably place a link up here in the corner and one link down in the description so you can go and check it out as soon as you have watched this uh, it's uh, going to be a post apocalyptic uh, city or like a lot of inspiration from district 9 from uh Elysium, this is movies of course, District 9, Elysium, uh, what more do we have, Mad Max maybe, I don't know, you know, we're gonna do so much cool things in that uh, in that project, and that is like more unrealistic uh, city build, you know, while this is a very realistic, kind of realistic, you know, I'm not really that realistic builder, like there are so many, like realistic, $2.20, press, taste of hair, they're doing so insanely good realistic buildings uh, never really been my thing you know so I'm but but this is of course a little more realistic uh, than than I'm than I use that I usually do you know but anyways what are we doing today well as you can see while following me on the screen here I have placed down some nice buildings um, kind of similar to the buildings here in my town um, it's very hard. The only difference really is that if this was in my town, uh, like more in the reality, 90% of these buildings would have been red. Okay? In, in my, you know, Sweden, we are very famous for our red houses with like uh, white uh, corners and stuff. I don't really know what you, that white. But, uh, you know, so we have a lot of, of, of red. But I think this looks wonderful the only little regret i did was that i should have made the road a little thinner um it's a little wide now but you know what the hell long hair don't care um so we're placing it on a lot of residential and we we fill it up with some nice vegetation some nice gardens and also a nice little playground there in the back which we will work on in just a minute um and we this area is going to be bigger with this kind of housing but i thought that now when i have a new computer you know we have to start live streaming you know we, we can start live streaming and that's that's fucking awesome man so i'm going to start planning some live streams um sorry got a message on my phone i'm going to uh, start uh, playing some live streams you know so we're going to do expanding this area during a live stream um, so that's I'm, I'm really looking forward to and hopefully connect more with you guys during the live stream maybe have some guests sometime uh, we're gonna do some kind of stream schedule but I promise you guys there will be so much videos now there will be so much content for you guys and I hope you will enjoy it I bet you will because I'm confident because this is going to be awesome and I'm really looking forward to publishing the first episode of Mechanica I'm aiming for like maybe the end of November, maybe earlier if I get a little impatient, you know. But uh, hey, anyways, it's gonna be awesome, and uh, I hope you will like what the, this uh, channel will, will hold in the future. Um, but anyways, in this episode, we're gonna wrap things up. We're gonna detail a little more. I'm gonna go in back of the houses, make some simple gardens. We might develop that a little more in the live stream or in future episodes. Uh, I didn't really had most of the assets and props that I would want to have to to really make the gardens. Um, what do you say, like behind where your house uh, garden uh, ah, something? I can't find words sometimes. You know what I mean, guys. Um, but I'm playing with a lot of decals to just make this plain grass stand out a little bit. Um, I think it worked out pretty cool and. I tried to not make too fancy vegetation, but I have to do it a little bit fancy, you know, because that's kind of who I am, you know. I like bushes. I like bushes almost as much as Keralis like bushes, right? Um, anyways, guys, I think I'm gonna wrap up the talking for today and let you enjoy some uh, nice uh, vibes with the music and watch the end of the time lapse and. Uh, yeah, that's about it. I don't think I have anything more to say today. Um, but I hope that you will have a wonderful re rest, <laughs> rest of the week. It will be wonderful for you. And we'll probably see each other a few times before the weekend is here, right? But uh, until next time, guys. Enjoy the cinematics in just a little bit. And have a nice day. Be nice to each other. And hug your mom. You know, you do that way too, way too not often. Hmm. Well, 
forget about that, guys. I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyways, have a nice day. Uh, we'll see each other next time. Bye-bye, out.